I'm Tom Varner and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I've come to the St. Louis University, just outside of the Chaffetz Arena here in St. Louis, Missouri, to see the famous Billiken statue. Now what exactly is a Billiken, you may ask? Well, let me go show you as we go and check it out. This is a Billiken. This creature was created by a lady in the early 1900s, a woman from Kansas City, an artist. She claims she got the inspiration in a dream and was partially inspired by a poem. Now the poem is called Mr. Moon, a song of the little people by Bliss Carmen. And there is a line stanza in the poem that reads as follows. Oh, Mr. Moon, we're all here. Honeybug, Thistledrift, White Imped, Weird, Wry Face, Blinkin', Quid Noon, Queered, we're all here and the coast is clear. Moon, Mr. Moon, when you coming down? Now there is a common misconception that the Billiken was named after President Taft as the teddy bear was named after President Theodore Roosevelt. That is not true. The Billiken was not named for President Taft. There were Billikens that were eventually sold uh, that had, I believe, Taft's head upon a Billiken body. But, and there were comparisons between the Billiken and President Taft, because as you can see, the Billiken is kind of a, like myself somewhat, a Rotown fellow, and President Taft was the largest president that we have ever elected. So there were some comparisons that way, but the Billiken itself was not named for President Taft. There was a national fad at the time the Billiken was created, kind of called the Mind Cure fad, where people, you know, by giving things and receiving things, believed they could improve their lives and whatnot. And the Billiken was part of that. The Billiken was known as the god of things as they ought to be. Now, the lady who created the Billiken sold the design and the idea and everything to a company in Chicago. She made quite a bit of money off of it from what I've been able to research. There was a brief period for several years where the where Billiken dolls and Billiken figurines were quite popular. They often were sold like this, sitting upon a pedestal. Now there were actually two that were somewhat popular there were actually teddy billikens that were sold. These teddy billikens had a teddy bear body, but had the head of a billikin upon them. Here at the Billiken statue at St. Louis University, there is this plaque which reads, The Billiken, according to legend, those who rub its belly will have good luck. Now in 1910, a law student here at St. Louis University named John Bender took over coaching, duty, coaching duties for the football team here. He only coached for one year, but there were many people who said that he, his face, that John Bender's face resembled a Billiken's face. And a local newspaper, I believe. They began calling the team, nicknamed them for that year, 
Bender's Billikens. Surprisingly, the name stuck. And thus, St. Louis University, their mascot and their team name has been the Billikens ever since. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this adventure or any of the adventures in TV land, you can help support this channel by going to either Patreon or buying me a coffee and making a donation or becoming a member there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap. I'm not for sure what that is. Looks like almost like the head of a dead mouse. Or a dead rat and some other animal. But it's here on the campus of St. Louis University.